Hey guys, what's up? Shouts out here, and I randomly felt like making a tutorial. Now, I learned a lot from watching a lot of tutorials on YouTube. Um, I'm mainly self taught, and you know, Video Copilot is also a good place to learn, as along with uh, AE Tuds, Creative Cows, and uh, you know, there's a lot of good tutorials out there. But um, I want to try to keep uh, my tutorials quick and simple, and also, especially, I want to make sure that um, what I try to teach is something that is not really out there. Um, there's this one filter that's in After Effects, you do not have to buy it, it's called CC Pixel. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to show you a um, quick little clip from a project I did with my friends for the Irvine uh, Film Festival for 2013. And uh, it's basically a teleportation effect uh, with using this filter. Boom. See that again, because it's cool as fuck. So as you can see, the guy disintegrates both of them into a little smithereens and yeah, it just looks awesome, right? So that's pretty much what I want to show you guys. So now I'm going to use a clip here with my cat. I'm going to shoot her into bits and pieces and stuff, and but it's pretty much the same principle. I'm not going to go click by click showing you everything. I want to give you just like the basis of what to do and, and what it can do, the, this filter, and you know the rest is going to be up to you. So all right, I'm in After Effects. CS5 for anyone that cares, but now I got two clips. Now, with the camera being in one position, I have a clean plate, meaning that the camera is stationary, pointed in one direction with no acting whatsoever, right? Then I, re then I chased around my cat and I got her to stand in front of my camera for a bit, and I come up to her and I give her the double fingers of death, and you know, I pretend to shoot her, right? So I re scroll through it, and I this is where I want the effect to start because this is where my fingers jump back and I already marked it right here on the timeline and to do that you just hold shift and one and you can add any numbers on the number lines throughout the timeline timeline by doing that so alright so with all right, so with the footage selected of me and my cat I'm gonna go to edit and duplicate and right where the timeline is at I'm gonna click and drag I'm gonna go to the end till you see the double arrows and trim it down to this mark here and this is gonna be my cat layer she blows up all right with the same layer your cat layer selected you want to pre-compose this so go to layer down to pre-compose and uh, move all attributes to new composition so yeah cat comp that's fine open new composition now the new comp once the new composition opens, what you want to do is yeah select the timeline trimmer here. You want to move. You want to grab the yellow end, go all the way towards the end, towards where the clip uh, begins. Do a right click on it, trim to work area. All right, cool stuff. Go back to your um, original comp, and as you can see, your cat comp moved to the beginning. So since we have the mark there, we know where to go. So just click and drag the whole thing to the right time there. Boom. All right, not done yet. Start masking the cat out. Right. You know, do a quick mask. Obviously, this is sloppy, but you know, when you guys do it, you guys take the time, do whatever you want. Now, if uh, you go in the effects, go CC Pixel, you got CC Pixel Poly. You know, you drop it in there, and once you start playing it, you can see it's already broken up, but you know, obviously the cat is still there. So, so what I do is in this layer where originally we had both me and the cat, which is layer two, what I do is I duplicate it, hit Edit, duplicate. Now the new duplicated layer, I just again trim it down and on this and on the original layer where me and my cat work together, I trim this guy down to over here just to make it more understandable. Uh, layer 3 is going to be me and cat. And layer 2 is going to be me only. So that way, once the cat you know blows up to pieces, I'm gonna mask only myself out. So that way, 
it's only me that's in the footage, but because I have the base of like uh, neither me or the cat, then you know it looks like like nothing is wrong. So, anyways, so sneak up to my cat. I say, "Bad kitty." All right. So far, we're on the right start. Now, go back to your layer with the cat. And where it says right here, force center, you can click on the um, on the target. And what this does is it selects the area where the cat um, blown up from. So from this point towards the upper right direction, that's where like the force is going to be initiated. So the cat will be you know disintegrated from that angle, as you can see right there. You know there's a force section here, and you can increase that as you can see the cat is starting to you know blow up. Farther away from like the the, the force uh, direction, and she blows the hell out. Uh, you know you, you can mess around with it, and obviously the grid spacing right here. What it does is once you lower it, it makes like the pixels smaller. Um, she she disintegrates. Now it's a really cool effect because um, it has gravity, so you increase the gravity, she goes straight down. But in this case, I don't want her to go. I want it to seem like she's being disintegrated into like complete nothingness. So I'm gonna go negative 26, or just a negative number. That way the pixels go up. And there she goes. Adios, cat. Pretty cool. Huh? I mean, all these things you can mess with it. Uh, you can actually adjust how the directions of the uh, the the pixels to spin. So, you know, you can animate this, you know, whatever. But uh, the cool thing is, also, you can, like, uh, I don't know, you can add some cool color correction to it, you know, add a glow to it. Just lower the brands. Cat's going, and zap! Wow! All right, now obviously this is pretty boring, but like, I mean, you gotta like really mess with it. You gotta like add like obviously um, I don't know, maybe like a zap from like a lightning strike or an explosion from like Action Essentials. I'm gonna like, work with this. I'm gonna probably gonna stop filming here, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of post production work just so you can see what the final product can look like to give you a better idea instead of like you know seeing this shit. So uh, I'm gonna stop right there, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I just finished like uh, putting all this shit together. You know, I did some color correcting and I added some more elements to make it look more cool and stuff. So here's the final product along with a CC pixel a filter. And bye bye kitty. <laughs> now as you can see, uh, you know, filters don't work just by themselves obviously. You gotta add a lot of environmental effects, you know, dust, debris, uh, blood, you know, whatever. You know, whatever may happen. If I wanted to get technical, I could have got maybe more leaves and have it maybe float around and stuff for realism and stuff. But uh, yeah, obviously, it's a tutorial, so I'm lazy. Fuck it. So yeah. And the good thing about this effect is uh, you can see how the, the the pixels they fly towards the camera, so it gives it like a 3D you know feel to it. You know, obviously, I mess with it. Look at that. So, you know, very versatile, you know, you can make it seem as if, like, a, I don't know, a statue breaks or a spaceship explodes. You get chunks of crap flying towards you and all that, so, yeah, CC Pixel Poly. It's one of my favorite filters to use uh, in After Effects, so give it a try. All right, I'm done with this shit. So, uh, yeah, please leave a comment, like, rate, you know, whatever. And uh, I'll be making some more tutorials, you know, quick little ones, because, uh, there's plenty of other tutorials where to learn, you know, basic stuff, but um, uh, for this filter, I haven't really seen any uh, tutorials on it, so I decided to, like, you know, make one for you guys. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.